Hola niños, ¿cómo están? Today's letter is the letter de, de. When we say the letter de in Spanish, we say it a little softer than we would say the letter D in English. To soften the letter, we stick our tongue between our teeth and it almost sounds like you're saying the word they. Try it. De. De. Here are some words that begin with the letra de. First, we have fingers. We learned this word last week. The word for fingers is dedos. Dedos. Next, we have dice. It's almost the same as dedos, but the word for dice is dados. Dados. Next, we have a dolphin. In Spanish, we say delfín. Delfín. And finally, a doctor. His name is doctor. Doctor. We're going to be speaking a lot about a doctor today. A place that begins with la letra de is Dominican Republic. That's what we call it in English. But in Spanish, they call this country la República Dominicana. It is one half of one island in the Caribbean Sea. So it's not a very big country. Here's what their flag looks like, and here's what the country looks like. It's very beautiful because it's almost an island. It has water around three sides of it, and so it has beautiful white beaches and crystal clear waters and lots of palm trees, and it's warm all year. It's a very beautiful place. It's also where a lot of baseball players come from. So if you like baseball, you might want to visit La República Dominicana. Another thing that begins with the letter de are two artists. They both are artists, they both have letter des in their name, but they're both very different men. The first one's name is Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera looks like this, and he paints murals. He was from Mexico, and he would paint humongous paintings on the sides of buildings, and they were always telling a story about something. This one tells the story of a girl selling flowers in the market. Can you see the man standing behind her putting the flowers on her back? This mural tells a whole story about the history of Mexico. Diego Rivera was very famous for painting the entire history of a different part of Mexico. And so a lot of his paintings are in important government buildings in Mexico. The next painter is named Salvador Dalí. Salvador Dalí was from Spain, and he was a very, very unusual painter. He looked something like this. He was a little bit of a crazy person, and he liked to paint paintings that were surrealistic. That means that the paintings that he painted tried to look like something that you might dream about. This is one of his most famous paintings. It's called The Persistence of Memory. And even though you can kind of tell what it's a picture of, there's lots of clocks and there's maybe a tree and a watch and things, it still looks a little bit odd, right? Because the clocks are kind of melting and there's bugs on the watch and the tree is growing out of a table. That's what a surrealistic painter paints. Things that look kind of real, but kind of strange, almost like they were painted right out of a dream. So there's two different painters for us, Diego Rivera and Salvador Dalí. Both famous painters, but different, different styles of painting. So today, for the letter D, we're going to be talking about Donde te duele? Oh, and this poor guy has broken his arm. Donde te duele means, where does it hurt? Last week, we talked all about the parts of our body. So this week, we're going to practice those parts of the body by visiting the doctor, and he's going to ask us the question, ¿Dónde te duele? Adiós. Hasta mañana.